Okay, hey guys. Um, I uh, just wanted to make this small video because I just finished modding my Volca base, and I haven't really seen online any mods for the Volca base. Everybody's done them for the, either the keys or the Volca beats, and this is pretty much the same mods as those ones. Um, apart from one that I've heard people talk about but nobody's ever really I don't know they, they've kind of wondered about it but nobody's actually given any answers or not from what I've seen anyway um, yeah so basically uh, yeah here's what I did I added a through MIDI through and a MIDI out port um, so basically, that's the MIDI through, that's the MIDI out. Um, you know, like uh, a lot of people said, it's you're not really able to fit the the jack inside the the actual uh, case or the enclosure. So I had to kind of put spacers. But I I have seen MIDI jacks where. It's actually sticking out, so uh, you wouldn't need to put the spacers. You just put the screw on the MIDI jack, and that would be it. Um, I wish I would have known about that before, but anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, so this is the MIDI out mod going right now. I just have it go into my headphones because I'm too lazy to. Uh, reboot my whole setup. Um, I have the MIDI out going to the QY10, which is doing a Moogie preset sound. Um, and yeah, so here it is. Um, I haven't closed the enclosure yet just because I wanted to show some stuff. Um, basically, this is my mod. Um, you can kind of see here I for the MIDI out it's the same as I got the the MIDI out uh, info from uh, is it Utopian Labs uh, I'll put a, a link in the description um, but this one is the one that people wondered about but nobody actually gave any answers for um, it's the MIDI through um, you can see it's connected to those pins which is basically just the pins from the MIDI in connector um, you just connect all the same pins you only need the three bottom ones but yeah um, yeah I thought that was gonna be tough cuz I looked up MIDI through schematics and stuff like that online and a lot of them you needed kind of a, a buffer I guess just so you didn't degrade the signal but something tells me that there's some type of buffer after the MIDI input or something um, so it's the the MIDI through signal is kind of unchanged um, yeah uh, so yeah, it work the MIDI through works fine. Uh, I mean, I haven't noticed anything screwy with it like yet, but um, yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> I mean, I noticed lately that I kind of don't have enough MIDI outs on my interface, so. I need a lot of MIDI throughs and this only does one channel so um, might as well have a through on it it's kind of a waste of a of a MIDI cable if you're only using one channel um, yeah and yeah so it's just going out the out now so basically what it is is for the Vulca base anyway um, so you have your your three kind of tracks I guess on the on the base you just 
that basically switches what the output is or what it's reading or the signal that it's sending out so you can it's kind of cool I guess if you're doing a live performance and you want to set up something else to accept the MIDI signal you can set up three parts and then just switch between them or you have you know um, yeah, did I do that? So yeah, you can, I don't know, three times eight, so 20, 24 parts that you can play through to uh, something else. Um, and it only, this mod only does, uh, <coughs> Only does okay. Uh, only does MIDI on off or note on off, and then you know the the note pitch. Um, I not sure, but I think that the clock signals output too, um, and it only outputs on the channel that you select it to work on. So if you do. Uh, uh, you power on and then hit memory and then choose a channel um, yeah so that's kind of cool um, so uh, what else can I show you guys uh, ah okay so yeah, I'll switch the sound Okay, and then too you can also like, here I have the volume off so you don't hear the Volca. So if you want to play one part on another instrument then you just mute that, that track and then you can play the other two. So yeah. Anyway, um, I'll show you guys the MIDI through. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, that's not working. Oh, that's why. Um, yeah, so this, it, the Volca bass is set up on channel 1 right now. Um, and then I'm outputting MIDI on channel 2 from the computer, so it's working. You hear it? Um, And then now that's one, so it's going through. And then, yeah, the, the signal is the same, so there's no problem there. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> I like the MIDI through. It's very useful. And you could probably, if you wanted to, you could, I, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to split the signal from the input into multiple throughs with, without a buffer, uh, without an extra buffer. Uh, so you could just wire up, uh, you can find online uh, MIDI throughs, uh, schematics and then just wire up a buffer onto a PCB and then just slip it on the inside. Luckily there's a lot of room on the bottom. Uh, it's not it's not uh, like height, height wise it's not a lot of room but uh, yeah there's a lot of room in there. Um, yeah and so yeah, that's the Volca bass, and that's not very loud, but anyway, let's 
try out the video out for a bit. Yeah, that's another thing. Too, it uh, sometimes I get weird stuff with if I hit play on here, then it'll play on here. Here's a sequencer, so it the output also sends out uh, song start stop. So that could be a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, but I guess you could set it, I don't know. I think it's because I have the QI-10 set up to accept external clock. So that could be fixed. And then I also noticed if the output, yeah, the output doesn't work as it through. Um, right now. Yeah, so right now the Volca is getting signal, but the QI-10 is not, but if I hit play, it gets really screwy with <laughs> uh, receiving signal and then outputting the, the sequencer track. Both at the same time is too much, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that is it, um, I don't know, yeah, I just want to do it, sh show people for the Volca bass what to do, I mean, there's a lot of other patch points on there, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other patch points on there, but, uh, I don't know, I really don't know if I'm going to do anything with them, because, yeah, I don't know what to, I don't have any ideas for it. I mean, I tried testing out different, different, uh, points with, uh, a wire, but, I don't know, I got some funky sounds, but nothing I really want to make permanent. Uh, I guess you could find some different points to patch between and get something funky going. And then just add a switch when you want it, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I won't. I, won't, I probably won't mod it anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll leave the the link to his mod uh, in the description. And if you have any comments, uh, yeah, please please leave comments. Uh, or if you want more info or something about the, the MIDI through or how to add multiple MIDI throughs, then yeah, just leave a comment or send me a message. Anyway, see you. Goodbye.